Now, you may be wondering, what is going to be the biggest impact there in the way that our society will operate, say, in the next 10 years? Well, did you know that by 2030, there is going to be an estimated $225.91 billion attributed to the global machine learning market? Now, that is kind of insane. And it's no surprise to think that machine learning will probably outpace every other industry on the planet. As such, it might be a good idea for you to study machine learning at university. Now, if you're an undergraduate, it's not quite possible for you to do an undergraduate degree in machine learning. We often recommend that you start off doing a computer science degree instead. For postgraduates, of course, you could definitely do a master's in the subject, though. Regardless of whether you're an undergrad or a postgrad, though, here are my top five choices of universities that you should attend in the UK if you want to break into this industry. Now let's start off with university number five, University of Edinburgh. Now this is actually quite a unique choice on this list. Um, in fact, one of the biggest reasons I actually have it on this list is because of the research that they've made in bioinformatics uh, through their school of, of informatics. I actually had a student that applied to this university only a few months ago who actually wanted to go into clinical drug testing. She actually came from a biology background and Edinburgh actually offered a curriculum uh, for machine learning or centered around machine learning that really enabled her to tie her previous scientific experience um, into something like bioinformatics, eventually leading her on to doing a PhD with the Bayes uh, Center, actually also based in Edinburgh, that have quite a lot of prominent researchers who have gone all over the world to be experts in their field. And the fourth university on my list of top five universities for machine learning is Imperial College London. Now we already have a really extensive video out there for actually why it's great for computer science and you should be able to find information for this on screen right now. But if you're looking for going into machine learning, it's a great university to go for. It's London based, it's got a lot of industry connections. So a lot of the research that they do offers um, a lot of suggestions for technological innovations in line with machine learning. That actually makes it in some cases quite unique to maybe more of the academic courses that might come across at Oxford or Cambridge, but it's still quite rigorous to get into. A lot of their courses, um, such as that MSc in computing, do require referrals. So make sure that if you're going for this university, your grades in undergraduate um, are strong. And if you're actually applying there for an undergraduate degree, make sure that your A-level and IB grades are also very, very strong as well. Now, given the rigor of the academic grade requirements, uh, we've actually put this as number four instead of number three, but it is incredibly close. On top of that, they've won many, many prestigious awards for their research, including the Amazon Alexa Prize. Basically, if you're looking for any university that has a nice balance between academia and industry connections, this is a really good university to go to. Moving on to university number three is UCL. Now, this is a particularly good university in my opinion. It is actually a Russell Group University has a very high standard of research, but it's a little bit less rigorous to get into than Oxford and Cambridge. It's also placed third according to Edgerank in 2023 and fifth according to Times Higher Education in 2024. Like with many of these leading universities, it also has a machine learning group and it's incredibly prominent in deep learning and computer vision. So if that's a direction you want to go into in a place that's potentially less vigorous in its applications, UCL is a really good choice. It's also London-based. This cannot be understated in terms of career prospects and network opportunities. So this is without a shadow of a doubt, my third top choice of university. Moving on to university number two, home of Alan Turing, the University of Cambridge. A personal favorite of mine, given that this was a university I graduated from, from their part three mathematics course. 
Should you be interested in applying for that course, follow the link in the description below and we can help you right out in terms of going on to such a course. But why is it so high? Well, as I said before, it's interchangeable with both Oxford, well, Oxford University. Uh, it is second in the UK in EduRank in the 2023 rankings and it is also second in Times Higher Education in 2024, but it still boasts quite a lot of industry connections. Um, it is particularly good at uh, Bayesian and probabilistic modeling of different systems, so if that's what you were to specialize in within the machine learning group, that's a really, really good choice for you. They have incredible facilities within their computer laboratory, and they have also won Google's DeepMind Prize for the research that they have produced, as well as the papers that they have put out there for people to read. But it is definitely interchangeable with Oxford, in my opinion. It's certainly my number two, but it's a very, very close second. And finally, a movie run to university, number one, the very best university that I can think of to study machine learning is the University of Oxford. Now, the University of Oxford, they placed uh, first both in Times Higher Education in 2024 and in EduRank in 2023. They offer a summer school uh, for undergraduates or aspiring undergraduates, rather, to learn all about machine learning. Um, they are one of the, if not the top recommended courses for computer science for an undergraduate degree, first once again. Uh, as a postgraduate, they have a lot of different research opportunities. They have the Big Data Institute that has a lot of industry connections and funding. So not only would you be able to perhaps do a research project with them, you might be able to land your first job, which is pretty amazing. Uh, on top of that, they are the prestigious winners of the ImageNet Large Scale Visual Recognition Challenge, uh, which is no mean feat, so they are amazing for computer vision. They are also at the forefront research-wise of natural language processing, should you want to go down that direction. But all of those tied together make Oxford my number one choice.